Hey everyone, I'm Paul with Madcap Software and we're on the next video in our series on single sourcing in Madcap Flare and gonna talk about uh, snippet conditions in this video. Now, hopefully you've already watched the video on conditions and you've already watched the other video I did on snippets. This sort of combines them and you might be wondering already, well, you did combine them. You showed us snippets and sometimes those snippets had uh, conditions in them, what gives? Well. That's not exactly what I'm talking about in this video, sort of. I am talking about that to a certain extent, but it goes beyond that. Maybe the best way to uh, explain this is to go back in time and uh, describe what was happening when this feature was born. So going way back into the early years of Flare, we had created conditions and we created snippets. Those were available. And so I'm in my project and I'm working away and I happen to be working in uh, tables. I had a bunch of tables in different topics. Now that's sort of incidental because I was working in tables. You don't have to have, you know, have tables and use this feature, but that's what I was doing at the time. And I happened to have some table cells where I had some kind of substantial paragraphs in there. It wasn't just one or two sentences. It, it was more than that. And it was fine because the same um, paragraph was being used in multiple tables in different topics. And so I created a snippet and that was just, that was working well. But then I got to one topic and one table where I inserted the snippet and I, and I was editing and I thought, hmm, well, this kind of sucks because th in this case, 95% of this content is exactly what I need, but somewhere in there, I, I need it to be a little bit different. And it's just, you know, it just sucks that I couldn't use the, exactly the same snippet because I had already gotten it. And I didn't really want to go back and break it up into little uh, smaller snippets because then I'd have to go back into those other places and make sure it was inser inserted correctly. And I thought, well, this this would be nice if I had a way around this. So talk to the developers and snippet conditions came about. So that was the problem that I was trying to solve. So I'm gonna go into a little Flare project and we'll work through this and see um, how, how it works and the options that you have. Here is a tiny little project and I've got this topic open right now and within there i put uh this uh snippet where i've got this big paragraph in here and i have the same uh, snippet that i needed in these other topics and so it's all fine and dandy notice in the middle of this i've got this sentence that's in all caps the only reason i have it in all caps is because i want it i want it to stand out for the purposes of this i want you to see it real easily so that's a unique sentence to illustrate snippet conditions. So far, it's not unique because it's in all three of these topics. But I get to, uh, say, feature four, and I insert the same thing, get to this one, and I think, huh, I this sentence doesn't really apply to my situation, and I need a different sentence in there. So snippet conditions. So first thing is I'm going to open this up. And I am going to just kind of insert another sentence in here um, with all caps. Second unique sentence. All right, we'll just do that. And then I think, okay, I need, I'll put some snippets on these. All right, let's go to our, uh, or I'll put some conditions on these. Let's go to our project organizer conditional text, open this thing up. So I've got just kind of the standard snippets or gosh, I keep mixing those up. I got the standard conditions in here. Now, for the purposes of snippet conditions, what, what it's allowing me to do is to put conditions on content within a snippet. And then at, other, at uh, a point that's deeper, a level deeper than the target, I'm going to include or exclude them because if you remember from the previous videos, 
you put conditions on them and then you go to your target and you say include or exclude. And uh, so I do want to include or exclude, but I want to I want to handle that before I get to the target. So the way it started out years ago was at the topic level. OK, now any of these conditions theoretically could work uh, to do this. But what I found uh, helpful is to create a separate condition tag set just for this purpose. You don't have to. That's what I do. So this is kind of what I do. I go in and I choose add condition tag set and I name mine snippets, name it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Flare doesn't care. And you get these default ones right out of the box and I'm going to change them. I, I, I just name mine snippet one, snippet two, snippet, snippet three on down the line. Okay, and I have five of them in here. You may not have to create five of them. Um, I will tell you, back in the day, I actually created around 20 of these uh, because at first we only had this feature at the topic level, which I'll show you. And it wasn't as versatile as it is now. And so I ended up creating 20 of these things in since we added it also at the snippet level. So you can include, exclude at the topic level, and now you can include, exclude at the snippet level. Since we did that, I've found that really most of the time I'm using between one and four of, of these things. Um, I have 10, and there are some exceptional cases where I will go you know, and maybe use more. And uh, you're gonna see here in a second, me using one, two, and three of these. And then, you know, in your situation, you might just have more variations within a snippet and you need to use more. So create however many that you need. All right, so I've got these and I'm just using these for my snippet conditions. That's the only reason these exist in this project here. So I'm gonna go into feature four. Well, actually uh, I opened up the, this and I created my second unique sentence. So what I'm thinking is, all right, this sentence right here, and I'm going to grab this space right before it too. I'm going to go all the way to the end and I'm going to apply. There we go. I am going to apply this condition. I've got my little shortcut up here. Um, just in case you didn't see the other video home, there's this uh, conditions right there. I can click that either place and go here and say, I want, this is for snippet one. And then this one, I'll grab the uh, little, gosh, it's hard, space right before it. And I didn't get the period. All right, come on, man. Now yeah, I'm really making a mess of this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to apply snippet two to that one. Okay, save that. Now I go back to feature four and I can go and tell this topic, hey, use um, snippet two, but don't use snippet one. So I'm going to right click on this and, and ask it, show me where this thing is in the Explorer. And so there it is over on the left feature four, and I'm gonna right click that and select properties. Now I've got a couple of tabs in here that have to do with conditions. This is not the one that you want. I showed this earlier in another video where you can set the condition on that file, on the topic itself. That's not what we're trying to do. We want to work with snippet conditions. So we come down here and now the, see the, the UI looks different. It's not just selecting these, it's including or excluding. And I could drill into my snippets condition tag set, but I don't have that many. So I can just easily go here and say, this is the thing that I want for this topic. And by default, remember this is inclusive. So if I select include and don't touch any of the others, it will exclude them. Uh, I tend to like to get more specific when I'm I'm doing this because things get introduced in, 
down the line in the future, more content and maybe more um, conditions on these. And so I like to be really explicit about what I want and what I don't want. So I am going to actually, so if I selected exclude, then all these become included. Well, I could select all of these, I'll hold down my shift and control keys and exclude. I'm just being very careful here about what I am going to see in uh, my snippet conditions. This isn't going to prevent, let's say that I, I had some online only conditions in other places in the topic. This isn't going to prevent those from being used in the target if I include them. We're talking about snippet conditions. It's looking for those places. What do I want for this topic? So this is topic topic wide. This is what we started out with. Click OK. And there I've got second unique sentence. The first one isn't showing. Now I go back to features one, two, and three, and I could do the opposite. So feature three, go to properties, snippet conditions. And this time I want this one included. Just to show you, it does work if you decide to leave these uh, excluded. Click OK. And now I've got the first sentence is included and the other one is excluded. So that is how you do it at the topic level. Now, the topic level can be really good if you have, say you have multiple snippets throughout the, the topic. I just have this one in here, but this topic could go on for a ways and I could have multiple snippets and multiple cases of snippet conditions. And I, uh, I know that I'm just using all snippet one for everything, for all the snippets uh, in here. And I'm excluding snippet two and, and that just works. It's, it's, it's faster, it's easier, but it, it's not as versatile as the next thing. Now, um, the, before I move on to setting these, including excluding them at the snippet level, that's the next thing I wanna show you. Also notice you look in, in the upper right and you get this little icon which is really nice because that's that's an indicator that lets you know, hey, you got a snippet condition in here. And if I hover over it, just hover over the snippet, you can see what's going on. All right, it's a, this is my snippet and it's got it's set to use snippet one. All right, and the other one, if I were to hover over that, oops. There we go. It's going to be more because I told it, it's, it's telling you what you explicitly did. And I said, use snippet two, whoops, eh, or not, and then all the ones that I specifically excluded. Okay, this marker here, your markers, remember, are controlled here. And there is down here, snippet conditions. So you can toggle that on or off, but I just leave it on. I find it useful to know what snippets are just regular snippets and which ones are snippet conditions. Now I'm gonna to go to another topic in here. And this one, feature five, I have the same snippet here, but I have another one down here and you can see I've already added a unique sentence here and a unique sentence there and even a third unique sentence. So I need, I already have these conditioned and I want to open this one up and I get apply any conditions once again, but I usually just kind of start and uh, decide. Uh, I'll, I'll, I will start up here and I will um, usually do them in order one, two, and three. But if I know ahead of time that, oh, I um, maybe want the second sentence to be included well let's let's do this first let's let's say that i want this to be the same as feature four i want to include the second sentence and not the first one so i want to include snippet two and exclude snippet one and so when i'm setting my conditions in this i could decide the same thing i could go well yeah i want this second one definitely to be included in uh, in this topic, the same as the first snippet. And then I got this third one in here and I'll set that to snippet 
three. So I could decide ahead of time. Now, if I wanted this first sentence to be included in this topic, I could have made this snippet two and this one snippet one. So you can you can do that. All right. It just gets a little bit harder to maintain when you're doing this at the topic level. So you see what I'm doing here and I right click feature five. And let's say that for feature five, I am going to exclude uh, snippet one. Well, let's let's do let's do the automated thing. So let's include snippet two, just like my feature four topic. And let's say that I'm also including uh, snippet three. And so do that. So it's acting just like this other topic where I've got that sentence right there, but now I've got this additional one and it's got my second sentence plus my third sentence. Okay, again, that will work if everything is sort of aligned with what you're setting at the topic level, but the, you can imagine, I could get more and more snippets into here and then, you know, some, um do belong in the topic and some don't and i might have to add more of my you know snippet condition uh snippets in there i might have to go up to snippet four snippet five just to make it work so what happened was after time we added the ability to do this not just at the topic level but at the snippet level and actually that's what i use 99 percent of the time i use the snippet level I am going to um, I'm going to get rid of these settings at the topic level here. Go back to the way it was. Now let's say here's why I like the snippet level. Let's say that in this case, in this topic, I do want the snippet one. I want to include it here, and down here I don't want to include it. I, I do want two and three. All right, so. It's sort of the opposite. So instead of setting it on the topic, I'm going to right click the snippet and go down to snippet conditions, not conditions, because conditions will just set a condition on this entire snippet. We want snippet conditions. And I am going to say, I want to include snippet one and everything else is excluded. All right. And now, in this case down here, I don't want snippet one. So I'm gonna right click there, snippet conditions, and I want snippet two, and I want snippet three, there. So it's just more control in here, and they each get the little icon, both doing that. So this is just the method that I prefer, but use whatever um, you like best. Now, what happens if you have the uh, snippet conditions set at both levels? So if I had gone in to uh, feature five into the properties snippet conditions and I set them, and then I came in and I did it at the snippet level, well, the snippet level is gonna override the settings uh, at the topic level. Uh, that's just, kind of typical for flare usually the smaller thing the uh, or the the thing that's closest to the source is going to win and topic level is a more broad level and then broader than topic level is target level and what's uh um, going in more uh, narrow is the snippet level and so that is going to win another thing i want to mention is you can have nested snippets as i explained um, earlier in this video series, I could have a snippet within a snippet. So just be aware of that. That can that can get a little bit hairy if you are trying to do snippet conditions at multiple levels deep. You just kind of need to work through it, test it um, to make sure that the right things are showing uh, and where, wherever you have these snippets, you, you, you can do it. Uh, just be aware that, you know, each one of those snippets is unique. Another thing to be aware of is, let's say that I go into a snippet. Right now I've got three of these things in here. So maybe 
uh, I end up adding another snippet uh, or another condition in here. And I go and I add four in here. Well, now this the situation has changed and you need to account for this one. Is it going to show? Is it not going to show? Remember, you if you set things explicitly uh, ahead of time on, say, a topic, uh, let's go into like feature four here. If I had gone in and I said exclude, well, that is automatically, that's going to exclude it from that topic and any others where you have uh, already set these things. And what you probably want to do is find out where what where is this snippet being used so that you can go and verify whether or not this content is showing up or not. And so what I do is I'll go to the view ribbon and select link viewer. And right now this one is only in uh, feature five. If I opened up that other snippet, uh, well, I can just go over here, snippets. It is this first one right here. So that's in more topics. So if I had added something like this in here, if I added uh, snippet four in here, well, now I have to account for that. So I'd wanna go into these different topics and see, well, does it make sense to show this or does it make sense not to? And if you had set things at the topic level, Again, you can imagine the more of these things that you have, the the harder it can it, it can get it can be to get straight. And so, again, that's why I like it at the at the uh, most narrow level, at the snippet level. That's where I like to set things. One final point about snippet conditions is there is a report that you can use. Uh, if you are using these throughout your project, go into more reports and you can see files with snippet conditions. And I selected that and now you can see the list of where I have these set. Now I started out showing feature one, feature two, because I had the snippets in there, but I never went and, and I, I never did anything with these topics. The um, the snippets are in here, but I didn't do anything. I didn't set these either at the topic level or at the snippet level. So it's not showing up in this report, but everywhere that I have gone in and, I, and I've said include, exclude, these show up. Those are snippet conditions. Um, more complex than just the concepts of conditions and the concepts of snippets, but those are really useful. Uh, I've used them ever since that first instance where the, the, the need arose, and I'm use, I use them to this day. So maybe in your project, you can, uh, you can see places where you can save some time, some energy, some work by implementing snippet conditions instead of creating multiple files or doing more work and copy and paste and all that. Okay. That wraps up this video. We are going to continue on to the next one where we are going to explore variables. Really cool feature.